am a shopaholic. I'm happy to admit it. I like things, I like to buy things, and I love clothes. Compulsive closet disorder. Compulsive closet disorder. That's what we gonna call it, y'all. Under there, so this pile right here. Excuse the sound of a fan, guys, I am so hot. But before the dupes, before I bought the real thing. So, things like that just gotta go. It's Hey girl, hey, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia Tania and here on my channel we talk about all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle, uh, motherhood. We've been doing a lot of vlogs lately, but today is actually a closet, clean out, declutter, whew, refresh, um, swap out, so many names. When I tell you my closet is a mess, y'all, it's a mess. Um, if you've been watching my vlogs any, um, you know that I have complained about not having my summer clothes out, still having like my winter stuff, and the seasons have like officially basically switched. And mind you, it's June 3rd. So I really need to get it together. <laughs> so um, yeah, so my first step in this process is just getting out some of the winter stuff that I know I no longer want so um it's just massive another issue I have actually is that you know I like I said if you're new to the channel I am a year and a half postpartum basically and um before I had my baby I was on a really really awesome um successful weight loss journey <laughs> And I lost about 60 pounds. I got down to a size 10, 12. And now none of those things I purchased at that time no longer fit. So I haven't wore half of the jeans or pants that are in my closet for over two years. And um, I'm having a hard time parting with the things um, that I eventually want to fit. But I am going to knock out a majority of the denim that's down here because it's insane. I also want to um, clean out all my shoes. A lot of my shoes are like winterized and like there's a lot of winter boots and stuff in there. So I want to do that. But I want to do one section at a time. It's very hard, very difficult to do when you have a full time job two little kids, a husband, and you also share a closet with your husband. Now let me tell you something about my husband. My husband is a very simple man. I don't wanna to show too much of his stuff cause he does have a little bit of a mess and I don't mind showing you mine because this is my channel and y'all can rag on me, whatever. But um, anyway, he's a very simple man. He wears a lot of blue, a lot of gray, a lot of black and <laughs> white t-shirts so he doesn't take up a ton of space and i want him to use a guest bedroom closet because of that he doesn't have to winterize or summerize because his entire fleet of clothes are here and i love that for him he's a very minimalist living man right he wears shirts that he works out or like does yard work in clothes he does yard work in clothes he wears to work they're really segmented out that way too clothes he wears to work 
clothes he wears around the house, clothes he wears when he goes out, suits, his shoes are all, yeah, but I don't have that same, <laughs> we've got accessories, bags, shoes, women just have too much. So anyway, um, I want to go through these closets and yeah, yeah, y'all see it. See that rack over there too? Oh God, it's so much stuff to conquer. Yeah, y'all, it's so bad. So normally when I do this, I go through my winter stuff first and decide what I'm keeping, what I've wore, what I'll potentially wear the next year, what I didn't wear this year. And it's hard for me because I didn't get to wear a lot of this stuff because I was either pregnant or just not going anywhere, nursing. I just didn't go anywhere. I didn't do any of the things. So a lot of the stuff I didn't get to wear. But if anything was tethered or just, I just didn't really love it, I had no problem letting it go. So that's good. Now that's because I was on a momentum and I set a timer for one hour to try to get through it. But, um... Yeah, so the only section I've completed was this section right here with the shirts. And basically, I just, let me give you a better view. And basically with the shirts, I had like cardigans and like sweaters. Yes, I hang sweaters. And I've never had a problem. But I basically cleared out most of this. I don't know how I want to organize it, so it probably won't stay like this I kind of want to clean this up a bit but for now it is what it is like I kept some like long sleeve like shirts because there are some cool nights in summer rainy nights things like that I always wear long sleeves when it's raining I don't like rain water on my arms then I kept some blazers because I do work in you know the corporate world this is kind of a summery blazer like linen so i kept those and i do work um like in the corporate world just in case i have to like have an interview or wear a blazer for something important so i kept my blazers out i did keep some denim jackets but i still need to organize like i said this section these are like skirts and i really do want to go through there and decide what i still want these are a bunch of like new in pieces that I really um, got for like spring, summer, like early spring and was still wearing. So I got to move some of these jackets and move them and pea coats and move them to my guest bedroom. That's where I keep my coats. Um, but yeah, <sighs> this corner over here is so bad. It's really not that bad. I just need to... It's really not that bad. I just need to do things in sections, which is how I work best. And I think my pants are gonna be my last thing I tackle because they're the most emotional thing <laughs> for me to tackle. And then I kinda wanna go through and organize. So this will not be completed in a day, right? It's eight o'clock now. Um, I just wanted to open. I'm probably not going to do anything right now today. I'll probably come back tomorrow and do something because it's already 8 o'clock. I still need to go for my evening walk. And I'm probably just not even going to attempt anything. What I am going to do is bag up the clothes that I did say that I no longer want that I'm going to get rid of. Um, and I accomplished a lot today because it is a huge pile of things that I'm just like, you know what? I don't need them. And another thing I want to do is just try to like minimize the amount of stuff I have because I can see like the articles of clothing weighing down my closet system. This closet system is from Lowe's. It's not your Ikea packs that everyone has. I know everyone wanted. I don't have time to wait. I went to Lowe's. I got the the sizing that we needed and yeah we we did the thing I'll insert a clip of that because I did document that year like two or three years ago and I never did anything with that um footage so I will include that I'm saying that for now to edit 
Okay, before I go do my walk and move on from this and come back to you guys tomorrow, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in purchasing any of the things. I have a ton of stuff that still has tags on it that I don't um don't really care for. Um I don't want to put anything on my Poshmark that isn't worth selling. I definitely have a ton of jeans that I'm going to get rid of and I'm thinking of doing like jean bundles or something or like bundles of things to put on Poshmark and like here's a bundle of jeans and like show you the pictures of the jeans or something like that. The only thing about selling on Poshmark, I can't sell you something that I can't fit, right? Like if I was able to fit it and I was able to say, hey, this is really cute on me. It probably would look really cute on you. Would you like to purchase it? But I don't, I don't know. I'll go through my items and I'll decide if it's worth um, posting on Poshmark. I gotta go. You hear the kids. Um, we will reconvene tomorrow and we will attack this closet. It's probably gonna be, you know, sped up, music added. I'm gonna have a little chit chat in between, maybe go through. Uh, okay, the camera cut off for some weird reason, but um, yeah, so tomorrow we will reattack this. Um, I've been giving it, uh, th today was the first day that I ever even walked in here and tried to tackle it. So I gave it about an hour and 40 minutes today. <laughs> so I got that one little section done, which is good. I still think that's a huge accomplishment. The bag of clothes that I'm about to put in the, um, you know, um, for Goodwill or the shelter that I donate to, um, it's still a good, pro it's still good progress. Um, yeah, so we will reconvene tomorrow. I will check back in then. Let me know in the comments below if Poshmark is something you'd be interested in. There are a few accessories probably I'd get rid of. I don't know. We will see. I'm not really, I'm not a huge hoarder of things in a certain ex... I am, actually. I, I'm lying to you guys. I am. I do really hold on to clothes. I do value them like they're like precious things. But I think for me right now with me struggling with my weight i only want to keep like two or three target pieces like for me to fit in something i really really love but see that's what happens you really really love too many things um but yeah if i find anything worth showing or worth selling or worth putting on poshmark i will definitely show you in this video and then you can decide if it's something you would like to purchase and i'll put my Poshmark in the description box so the kids kind of got to it but this is the pile they 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 destroyed it so I'm gonna bag this up it's got some random stuff I even cleaned out one of my like workout drawers some of like the workout clothes that I couldn't even fit anymore sports bras that were old just you know just some of there's a trench coat in there that I'm just tired of I'm just I'm just getting rid of things. I don't think there's anything in here worth listing on Poshmark, so you guys aren't missing anything, I promise. Okay, so this was something in the pile, and I was just like, hmm, maybe, maybe this is something someone would want. Um, at one point, I was wearing a lot of Jitzar, but not anymore, and it was kind of snug, honestly. So, um, okay, so now talking I don't know what that means so um it has a little snug on it I don't know I don't think I'm gonna try to sell this guys I think I'm just gonna give this away I don't think it's valuable enough it has like a little snug on it so I don't know let me know what you guys think I just think this is a large and it was good value but it's really good condition I never wore it I think I tried it on once and wore it for like a second but no yeah so and Zara just runs so small that's a large and it looks so small so one at one point I was able to actually button this so yeah kind of sad but I think I'm just gonna give it away guys I don't want to sell things that I don't think like this just this snag here and just like I'm not gonna sell this 
it's not worth it. It is a very good quality jacket. Um, I might do, I might give it, um, put it on thread up though. Um, if you guys have never heard of thread up, you can send like your old clothes to thread up and thread up will give you like a credit so you can purchase on their site so stuff like from zara especially with tags new in they'll give you like a better deal on that so maybe i will give that to thread up and you can send your own like you can send it in your own box and they'll give you a credit for whatever you purchase i'm sorry they'll pay you a certain credit for what they think they may make on the item and um yeah you can use it on their site for other things and i love thread up um thread up has a lot of like designer things i find a lot of sunglasses a lot of shoes stop throwing my stuff i find a lot of shoes a lot of sunglasses they have really good designer handbags too so i may just do that sorry guys i don't think that's worth selling in my opinion but um there's some stuff in here that just doesn't have value some of it's from the thrift store it's not even like really good stuff here's like another zara piece that i probably could get some money for i don't know probably not we'll see that blazer is actually really good quality like this tweeting is really good quality so i might give this thread up um so i might do like a thread up bag um, because I really do love thread up. So anyway, we will talk tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get ready to go for my walk. Please stop standing on my furniture. Yep. Get down immediately. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay. One last thought before I'm done with this. Easton, move out the way, please. Thank you. So I have this trench coat here. Easton, no. I'm talking and you're doing that on purpose. Because you're trying to annoy me. So this little trench coat here is from Pretty Little Thing. And it's not my favorite, honestly. I don't like much about it. And I was like, oh, I should just keep it. It's like a good trench coat. But it's really not. So that's going. Um, and it has this stain that just won't come out. And I feel like next spring fall maybe i'll treat myself to a better quality one because it's nice it's nice and light i mean that's why i'm like back and forth because it is a really good light trench coat and will be really good for transitioning into the fall but maybe i should get one that's a little more <coughs> a little cooler looking because i have a i have a i have a tan one and i have a black one but the green Mm -mm. I don't know. She's going. I'm not hemming and hauling. We getting rid of it. So yeah. We have to get another battery. Hey guys. It is day two of the closet debacle. Um, I just got finished uh, working. I went for a quick walk. I'm about to set a timer for one hour. And... Uh, and um do what i can for one hour <laughs> um because this is just how i have to do it with two kids i'm solo parenting a lot in the evenings um before my husband gets home so this is the time i have to to do it so i'm about to um yeah i'm about to put a timer on for one hour because one hour is plenty of time to kind of go through and decide what I'm keeping or getting rid of. That's my main goal, really. And I think <clears throat> um, I think what I'm going to try to do in the next hour is tackle this rack, this pile of clothes on the floor right here, and the dresses. Um, I'm going to show y'all, but again, don't judge me. I mean, I honestly, I don't really get... I well yes kind of <laughs> but um yeah so I've been at this for two days now so far so it's a little crazy because I've had to stop 
and grab miles or stop and go do something for easton or stop and start dinner so it's very chaotic in here but i'm gonna show you guys the corner that i want to successfully accomplish in the next hour and yeah so i'm gonna show you guys don't mind him yes you have the vacuum yeah i know the vacuum head you don't need it i'll let you run the vacuum later okay so here's the corner my hats my dresses and stuff are back here this rack and this pile of stuff is stuff i started looking at and haven't decided if i'm keeping or not there's some new bags there you see those bags yeah i know that's a shame and a, and a package unopened so yeah we're gonna please and these are some summer clothes that were in one of my totes that i need to go through and decide if i'm keeping so yeah, we're going to tackle this corner, the floor here, and all this right here in the next hour. has the best trousers this is a us 16 tall they were just too big for me um this is in the curve section i think yeah so it's a uk 20 us 16 it probably honestly could fit someone who wears a 20 i would say um so this type of stuff i may put on poshmark these are brand new they're pretty wrinkled. I would steam them before I gave them to someone, but or sold them to someone. But they are brand new. I never wore these. There's no tag on here, but I never wore these. They're still in the ASOS bag. So stuff like this, I will potentially link. I think they're really good trousers. It is a tall, so if you are a plus size tall girly, you know their tall is really good. So if you're five ten or over definitely a really good pair of trousers i feel like <clears throat> asos makes really good trousers um i have an asos haul coming up soon um so i will cover a few other things i purchased from there but these i've had 
sitting in the package forever because I missed the window to return. ASOS only has like a 14 day return window. So yeah, I missed that window. So that's why they're still here. I have another pair. Um, they are also the same size. They just were too big and they are gray like pinstripes. They're really nice with a drawstring and they're like almost like wool. I know this isn't something that you guys would need right now, but it's here. So I'm thinking of putting it on Poshmark because I think I paid like a, a sale price, but these are really good quality trousers. So I will probably put these on Poshmark. If that is something you'd be interested in, comment below if you would be interested in shopping my closet on, on Poshmark. I think I'm gonna include a bunch of other things as well because there's just stuff in here I just need to get rid of. And I think, honestly, I'm gonna set up a new Poshmark and really get it set up. Um, so I will link that below so you can go and peruse and see what I have. There's just stuff I need to get rid of. And I was gonna send it to thread up or all of that, but I'd rather just, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll help us connect, you know? I'm not sure, but I'm going to list these and um, probably some other things. Probably that Zara blazer. Um, hold on, there's one other shirt. This Zara shirt I thought was so pretty when I purchased it. Um, ideally, I was going to wear it to um, the office or something. I just never got around to wearing it, so the tag is still on. It is a size large. It does have really good stretch. So I was thinking of keeping it, but hmm, I just don't know. I'm not gonna wear it. Maybe, I don't know. I'm still deciding. This may or may not go on Poshmark because I actually really like the way it looks. <laughs> and I remember buying it and trying it on and being really happy. So I don't know. I don't know guys this is the problem but it has really good stretch and I think that's why I bought it because it was so comfortable and stretchy so I don't know let me know in the comments below if this would be something you would be interested in having and I'll list it I'm gonna get this area clean I got my rack clean um just cleaned I just cleaned off things that needed to go away winter wise this stuff is all like summery stuff and stuff I have not worn yet that is kind of new so I'm putting it there and I'm already tired <laughs> and we haven't even got to the winter dresses and stuff and he's already fussing so we'll probably end it here soon pairs of workout sneakers do I need I love workout sneakers I really do and I have a specific kind that I really like. The Under Armour Hover, they're so good. I have them in three different variations. Where's my other one? This one's missing. This is the one I wore today. Where is it? So I have this black pair, this uh, gray and orange pair, and this purple this purple pair this purple I know it look a little it look a little beat up but these sneakers are the best they're the most comfortable workout sneakers ever okay ever <laughs> y'all don't care about that y'all here for the fashion I don't know if I showed you guys my Solomons that I got recently I love them they're so cute they're super comfortable um I need to figure out how I'm gonna organize my sneakers. I need to put all of my um, winter boots away. Cause I'm not wearing them. Guys, it is so hot outside. I went for a walk and I'm still sweating from that walk. So, okay, here's another item that I might list. Um, these are so cute. I cannot fit them, they're from the brand icon um i will link her 
site below. She has really cute stuff. This is a large in her big wide leg pants. I cannot fit this. This will be going up on my Poshmark because she has a no return policy. And I'm just not going to hold on to them. If someone buys them, okay. If someone doesn't, then I will um, keep them, I guess. But I'm going to list them on my Poshmark as well. So I got a Poshmark pile coin. Um, I'm going to do as much as I can. Ugh, I'm not even in the screen. I'm going to try and do as much as I can before my timer runs out. I'm pretty sure I only have like 10 more minutes, but I'm hot. I'm tired. The AC is not on. I'm irritable. I'm not going to get everything done today. So, it is what it is. I got to I got to make the kids dinner. I got to do some other things. At least I was able to clear out some of the stuff. At least I was able to clean my rack and clear some of this stuff out. But um, I also bought some vacuum bags. Hold on, let me go out here. Make sure he's okay. Because I did close the door. Hold on. <coughs> Hi, Miles. He's eating peanuts and I have a peanut allergy. So I'm staying away from him. But anyway, whew, I'm sweating, y'all. Whew, glisten is real. Okay, so <laughs> I got through some stuff, not everything, but I was able to clear up some of the stuff. I feel good about it. I'll probably do it, do some more tonight, but I need to go downstairs and make dinner. It's 4.30. Wait, it's 5.30. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? You have 17 minutes left. 17 minutes? Okay, I can do more in 17 minutes. I didn't realize it was 17 minutes left. Let's push through this 20 minutes and do a little bit more. closet and I don't need both like I, I don't this is from nasty girl gal and this is JW Anderson I bought these before the dupes before I bought the real thing so things like that just gotta go is that a Dunkin Donuts gift card oh girl I was about to get happy all right so here's the pile of stuff that I need to clear up and bag so I'm about to do that. And then we're taking a break. <laughs> Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, well, for 58 minutes, whew, I'm hot and I just need to take a break. So, whew, I'm sitting on my bed with outside clothes on. Let me get off of that. Whew. Okay, here we go. My son got the fan on. Y'all, I am so tired. That is so much work. And I didn't even get to the winter dresses yet. My God. So just like an update. I did order some like vacuum sealed bags. Um, and I mean, I cleared out most of the stuff. I just haven't went to my pants yet. So I looked through like my tops, my sweaters, my blazers, and this pile right here. And there's a tote under there. So this pile right here, excuse the sound of a fan guys, I am so hot. But that pile right there, there is a tote underneath. Don't mind him, he's playing with the tripod. We'll go into storage and then I got the vacuum seal bags from Amazon. They're supposed to be here tomorrow or tonight. And I'm thinking of compressing them so that I have more space because I only have three totes and I'm not buying another one. 
Why is your nose running? Let me wipe your hands. Ew! Ah! Yuck! Yucky ducky. Yuck. 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 Uh, we have so many things going on. I hate cleaning out the closet because I just cleaned my bedroom and now I just feel like everything's everywhere and it's stressing me out. And I still have laundry to fold, which I'm gonna do tonight. But once I have those bags, I'll be excited to like compress all the clothes together. So I'm glad I ordered those. I had a bright idea last night and I was like, why don't I just buy the bags? I just feel like it will be satisfying to see them like compress and me be able to put like more in the totes because my totes are always overflowed. So I'm gonna try to do that. Now, the only thing is that I hate about switching out the clothes, not only do I need to purge and get rid of the fall and winter stuff, I also need to go through the summer stuff and decide what I wanna keep. Mind you, last summer I was skinnier. So probably a quarter to half of the stuff from summer I just can't fit. So yeah, this is a very emotional taxing thing for me to deal with, <laughs> mind you. But um, we did it and I think we're gonna come back later. Once the kids are asleep, I'm gonna spend like another hour and tackle it in my pajamas, like after showering and relaxing. I'm gonna take an hour, another hour, maybe 30 minutes. I'm just gonna chip at, away at it an hour to 30 minutes at a time. So yeah. Okay, so we will come back to it later. Bye. We got a lot done though. We have to do it this way, we have no choice. Okay, so if you are struggling with this, or if you haven't started, or you don't even do this, comment below, like, do you purge and clear? Alexa, stop. Comment down below if you actually purge out your closet. Do you just keep everything in there all seasons? Or, you know, do you clear it out? Do you swap it out? Do you swap it out and purge? Or do you just swap and keep everything? Are you a hoarder? Are you an emotional hoarder? Do you keep on to everything because everything has a memory? Are you one of those goal-oriented hoarders who says, Oh, it doesn't fit, but I'm going to lose a few pounds and then it'll fit. Comment below what type of closet, um, I don't even know what to call it, like a closet, mm, a closet obsessed? You have closet OCD? Like what type of compulsive closet disorder? Oh, CCD. I have compulsive closet disorder. Compulsive closet disorder. That's what we gonna call it, y'all. Comment below if you have CCD and what type of CCD you have. Yes, that was a good one. Compulsive closet disorder. Yes. It's a new term. That's what we call it. That's what I'ma title this video. Compulsive closet disorder. I got it. I'ma diagnose every single one of y'all in the comments below. Make sure you comment what type of CCD you have. <laughs> and um, have you cleaned out your closet? Happy June, basically, because it is the month of June. Today is June 4th, and I can't believe it. And it's hot. It is hot outside. It is hot. Anyway, we're going to come back and do another hour. I'm going to go cook dinner, relax, eat dinner, and then... Probably come back to this again. So, bye. For real, this time. Okay, guys, I'm back. It is day three of closet clean out. What? You don't need to talk to my camera. It's day three. And yesterday, we were able to clear our rack. I'm sorry, the baby's here. He has my tripod in his hand. I'm trying to hold it so he can't mess with it, but you know how it is. So, today the plan is, I just set my timer. What the heck is that on my face? Is that a welt? Did I get stung? What, where did I even come from? <sighs> okay, so the 
section or corner of focus today or the hour today i'm probably going to do a little bit more actually today my husband comes home early today so i should have a little bit more time to do a little bit more but it's my dresses and this is the section to me that is like the most important because most of my summer gear are dresses and that's the pieces that are missing right for me to just grab and go um and i need to go through all of these winter summery one winter fall whoo uh, um winter and fall stuff and decide what i'm keeping what i'm getting rid of just like we did with the other stuff and i have some stuff on the floor here summer stuff that i haven't went through yet and they're just laying here my floor is clean so it is what it is it's fine um but guys i'm just so in like disarray i just ordered like four dresses online and i'm like girl you didn't even finish cleaning the dress section i really think i have a problem guys i need help anyway i got some really cute stuff i have a package here from h&m the resort collection that i ordered that i never opened i know i can fit it because i sized up but did i like it i don't know i don't know it's been almost 30 days so i'm gonna open that today and try that on not on camera here but yeah i'm just telling you guys the problems that i have um yeah so we're going to go through these dresses um i'm done talking i've introed enough and my hour has already started um I did one hour. I should have did an hour and 30 minutes, but I need to look out for my son's bus. like I these these pants like this is ridiculous I mean look at this yeah I honestly I just want to be like I don't want none of it but I need to go through all of it each piece in my hand and decide what I'm doing I don't want to hold on to things anymore especially if they don't fit and I just want to keep like one or two things that are like things that I really like like or like the style of and use them as my goal so I'm definitely gonna be I'm gonna pick like okay here's my plan with the denim because I love denim I'm obsessed with denim so my plan is come on miles I'm gonna upcycle some denim I'm gonna make one denim skirt out of something but that's probably not gonna happen because most of this denim I can't fit so whatever's like fits come on miles stop i'm going to um miles please no okay so we got five minutes before he gets into something else so basically what i'm saying is i'm just going to go through each denim piece probably tomorrow i'll use that time tomorrow for an hour to go through each or at least half of the section and decide what's worth keeping what i'm holding on to it's not going to be a lot of stuff that i'm holding on to because i can't fit any of these jeans there's only like three pairs of jeans or pants that I can fit in this entire section. So I'm getting rid of it all. I don't even care. I'm not holding on to anything. I've decided like I'm not holding on to anything. I'm not harboring it. Like I just want it gone. And 
then my closet can look a little more like less congested it'll look like i actually have some stuff and style and i won't feel like i don't know what i'm doing all right so we cleaned up all the summer stuff i had from one of my totes and kept some and am getting rid of some i just need to move that into the bag outside of the closet um okay uh there's a lot of trash in here i gotta clean up these shoes that he just messed up which kind of pisses me off i'm gonna take a quick little bathroom break i'm gonna take a quick bathroom break um we're still within the hour i don't know where this came from but it's stressing me out um and then we will come back and tackle the dresses i feel like once i start pulling things down it's easier once like things are down and out is easier and i can be like all right i'm gonna keep this all right i'm gonna keep that all right i'm gonna keep this mm. but i think i'm getting rid of anything that doesn't fit anything that i know won't fit i'm just getting rid of it that's so hard for me because i'm on a journey to lose weight and i know that some of this stuff is worth keeping but i can't keep it all i cannot i cannot keep it all so i'm gonna keep my favorite stuff Things that I know that I'll be sad if I throw away and know that it looks really good when I am going to lose weight. Like I have a few like denim jumpsuits over there that are like staples to me and my in my style. So I'm going to keep all of those. Right. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear any denim jumpsuits this summer. Obviously not. Unless I wear it like half down. No. No, no, I'll get overalls for that. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break and then I'll come back. Whew, okay, I'm sorry guys, my camera died. Hold on, y'all are crooked again. This child keeps messing with the camera and the tripod, so you guys are straight now. Okay, so, I was able to get a little bit done. I took a little break. I mean, literally like a 10 minute break. Um, so I got a good amount of stuff off this rack. As you can see, it's less full. Let me move y'all so y'all can see. Cause y'all ain't gonna play me like I'm not doing the work here. Okay. I just wanted to come on and show y'all that I have been a fashion girly for the longest. I love my girl, Tracy Ellis Ross. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> Do y'all remember when she came out with the line at JCPenney? Yes. Tracy Ellis Ross for JCPenney. This is also Tracy Ellis Ross, JCPenney. Absolutely love this. Wore this when I was pregnant. Wore this, oh, I wore this so many ways. So we're keeping that, of course. Um, I won't be wearing any of that this summer. So let's toggle that away also wanted to show you guys let me move y'all back some so i can see me i also wanted to show you guys um these two rare vintage finds that i scoured and got from the real real and i'm obsessed with them and i'm sad because when i bought them i could fit them and when i bought them i had every intention of wearing them but we ended up not going to where we were going at the time. So they just sat in my closet. They're so gorgeous. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Guess in the comments. I'm going to tell y'all, but you know. If you know the print, you know. If you know the print, you know. Roberto Cavalli. Yes. Two vintage Roberto Cavalli dresses obsessed this one oh so stinking cute i probably could still squeeze my thick self into this one this one absolutely not this is like a size 12 and really i need to take it to a tailor and try to get it fixed a little because it's pulling on the side but i love this this reminds me of carrie in so many ways this was so cute it's very very thin it's very sheer um this is a i think it's a 44 euro it looks really small here like really small i don't know and it has a rip here 
I mean, it's sheer, but there has a, there's a little rip. I'm still keeping her because I might turn her into just like a shirt or I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I might turn her into a shirt. That would be cute too. But I love this. I love these. Um, making a weird noise. I got scared. But yeah, we're going to keep those. Um, let's see. What else did I want to say? That was really it, guys. I'm just going through and deciding what to keep, what to get rid of. Um, you guys remember this dress that I wore on a recent date night vlog. I love this dress. This was the H&M Paco Rabanne collection. So good sweater dress. So that's not going anywhere ever. So, yeah, I don't know. I might put these up in storage because I don't want to get them messed up hanging in my closet. And it's very dusty in here. Um, I don't know. I might put them in like a plastic bag. So. All right, let's keep going because we're almost done with this section. I have two of these dresses, two of the same exact dresses, two of the same exact dresses. Um, I think I'm just going to keep the extra large one and get rid of the large, I guess. This is from Amazon. It's a very cheap dress, but it's a good black dress. Won't be wearing that this summer. Old. That. Love this. Very full. I was like trying to decide if I should keep this for like a mild summer day, like a rainy one or something. So I'm thinking of just keeping it out just in case. I don't wear a lot of long sleeves in the summer, but it's very thin. I'ma just put it in the winter pile. I'm not going. I'll keep it because it's a good transitional one. So I'll try to keep it. These are fire. Still, I'm I I used to be able to fit these. These are gonna be a keep. A goal pant because I never got to wear them and I love the different randomness of them so that's how I'm making my decision I'm trying not to keep everything but I'm doing pretty good because the pile I have three bags already that I'm getting rid of so and I still haven't went through the pants do you all follow cash styles follow cash styles this is from the drop I'm leaving this out because I want to wear this to like dinner or something soon because it has like a little belly it's like pants it's super cute yeah so I'm gonna keep this out I'm gonna try to wear this on my next date night because it's very cute I need to get the wrinkles out but I've never wore it but I love cast styles so yeah I'm gonna keep that out okay and while I'm going through, I'm trying to organize just a little bit. I'm not being too hard on myself, but you know, just trying to go through some of the stuff. This does not fit and I'm not going to try. What size is this? I bought this over five years ago, five years ago, never worn. It's so cute, but it's too small. I'm never going to be a size large anytime soon even when I lose weight I'll never be large well that's cute where'd this come from I don't even like cutouts it's extra large I'm gonna save it this one is so beautiful love this color I'm gonna try to wear that this summer and I got this one it's like short it's a little snug in the booby area. It's a size 16. I don't know. It's kind of short. I might sell this. I don't know. Comment below if you'd be interested. It is a size 16. Um, I might list this one on my Poshmark because it's like too short. It's too short on me. I really like the long one a lot. Um, the long one is a size 16. And it's so long that I need to get it hemmed. 
but this is like so short that my booty pokes out so i'm probably gonna get rid of this one so yeah i'll probably sell these so you can look out for that um this is like custom i have two custom like indian garb things from an Indian wedding I went to. I'll never get rid of that. I'll probably repurpose this into something else at a later date. Unless I go to India with one of my good friends that I've known forever. She, it was her wedding. So I'll probably, I'm probably gonna put this in storage though. This shouldn't be out here. All right, so we got everything. I kept one denim jumpsuit out in case maybe I don't know go to the airport or something I think this is a good like airport outfit because it's really baggy and loose in the pant it's not very long and it's short sleeve good for like a rainy day summer day so I'm gonna keep this out here oh. Oh. this I'm getting rid of this was so cute <laughs> I wore this on vacation and I don't even think I took a picture of it. It's so cute. Oh wait, maybe I didn't wear it because it still has a tag on it. Let me see what size it is. It's from Pretty Little Thing. It's a size a US 12. I don't know, I might keep this because I love the way this looks. I think it's very like unique. It has like cutouts. I also have this other Asian inspired dress that I actually thrifted and it's so cute i do need to get it tailored in the waistline a little because it's a little baggy there but this is fire i'm keeping this um and i'm gonna keep it out here actually we got our dress section all clear so y'all can see we got our dress section all clear basically um and this is the pile of stuff i'm throwing out and this is the stuff i'm keeping i don't like that this pile sits a little higher than this one but we're making progress and that's all that matters um i found a drop waist dress that i used to wear when i was pregnant both pregnancies i'm excited i plan on wearing that white dress tomorrow um yeah so i'm really excited about these roberto cavalli dresses let me know if y'all think I should sell them. I'm probably gonna get rid of this one because it's ripped and I could probably make a good 40, 50 bucks off of it. Maybe more, I don't know. But since it's ripped, I might repurpose it to something else, but I love it. It just reminds me of Carrie and it is real, the real real. So um, anyway, we have to, um, stop for now because my son's about to be home so i gotta go wait for him to get off the bus so we will we will so we have to stop for now but um we will reconvene in another time for another hour we've been doing an hour a day for three days i feel like we're doing really good i got a lot done um i still need to go through some of these blazers over here because i when I look back and I'm like, what am I keeping this for? Yeah, so I'm probably going to purge a little bit more in this section. And then we're going to attack this section next. We're probably going to break it up. And then this section over here is like newer stuff. Um, that, yeah. I mean, some of this stuff is just like coats and stuff. I need to move them to the other room. And then some of it's like new in that I haven't wore yet. So yeah we'll clear that up as well and i think for that section i'm gonna put like long maxi dresses or maybe like what i'm wearing that week or something or what am i or my new end stuff like my um things that are on hold i'm gonna put in that section so yeah this series is probably gonna be split into two parts um so make sure you subscribe because i'm gonna put one part of me like clearing everything out and then I'm going to do another part of me like reorganizing and kind of like shuffling things around because I think I'm ready for it to be like really aesthetic and moody in here. Not moody, but just like a little cleaner and easier for me to find things. I won't call it aesthetic because obviously I'm sharing it with this man here. 
love him to death but don't want to share a closet with him okay or a bathroom to be honest and then we're gonna move we're gonna keep all this up here i put all my like winter boots and stuff in these bins up top and i need to take all my summer sandals out of there so we'll do that in part two but for now we gotta go watch out for my son to get home and my other one needs a snack or a drink or something because he's angry so i will check y'all later okay guys so this is my third and final day <laughs> at this closet like honestly i'm like so done i don't want to do it anymore so today's the last day i have to get through it um i just want to be able to like come in here and just get what i need and not be so stressed out and right now i'm stressed out and i still need to go through a lot of this stuff um my husband was saying to me last night he was like are you really just gonna get rid of all the things that are too small like you're working out you're trying to actively lose weight like you should just hold on to it and i'm just like i don't really want to but part of me's like well yeah he's kind of right you are trying to work out i have a thing for pants like pants are like my thing so i'm thinking um i'm gonna hold off on throwing away too many pants right now i'm just making more of a mess everywhere i turn there's a mess there's a mess there's a mess so today i'm at least getting all the clothes that i want to get rid of and i'm taking them and getting them out of my room because my room's covered and i'm going to use my vacuum bags to i got my vacuum bags yesterday i meant to tell you guys that and i was going to do it last night but i ended up just going to sleep because i wanted to get up and go to the gym this morning so i didn't do anything so you guys are really getting the full experience because i didn't do anything so you didn't miss anything <laughs> at all i was able to successfully clear out all of my dresses so now we have room to add my dresses back in i did clear off my rack which has a lot of my new in pieces for summer um and some stuff that i've like worn right so i'm gonna put that up there um yeah so i want to color code i want to like color code like everything and i wanted everything to be in one section but with dresses it's hard so my dresses are just going to be here lined up you know perfectly with their designated color but you see i have the white thing going on here and i'm going to keep going um once i clear all this up so yeah we're going to knock mm, we're going to knock out some more today i'm gonna set a timer on my phone the baby's sleeping so i'm gonna set a timer on my phone i have a half day today so um
this blazer is so cute i wanted to make like a red suit out of it and i probably still will um yeah i wanted to have like a red moment it is a size 46 it did fit me but now it does not and we're gonna get back into this though so yeah just wanted to take a moment to talk about the goodness of this blazer and the quality and the uh, I think I got this for like 70 bucks maybe yeah Terra glare it's so good do you see like the details and then the silver like buttons oh yeah we're gonna have to fit in this by my birthday okay we got a goal we got a goal I haven't vacuumed the seal bags yet, but I'm thinking while my child is still asleep of going through some of these pants, I'm just going to go through like one section and see how I feel. So the best like method for this is pulling out each piece, looking at it and deciding is it something that you really, really want to keep. And I know it's hard for me because I know it's going to be hard for me because... <laughs> You know nothing fits so we're gonna do that we're gonna take this one little section right here just this section and most of this stuff is new right in here because I've been wearing this and we're gonna go through it and we're gonna decide what we're gonna keep and get rid of right now
right guys this is progress I'm really proud of myself I am letting a lot of stuff go and I wasn't too emotional about it I didn't try only tried like one thing on and I was like mm -mm, I ain't trying nothing on so I cleared a lot and these are jeans that fit and pants that those don't fit but mm, we'll move I want to like reorganize all the colors if you saw me I was trying to like hang the jeans like the cool way oh, I picked the wrong one up hold on I was trying to hang the jeans like the cool way that I've seen like on Pinterest so I think I am gonna consider hanging my jeans like this um when I go back and when I go back and like organize it a little better I think I'm gonna play with this section a little bit and go through this stuff and see I think there's an old suit in here that I know I can't fit and I know I just don't even want anymore and then I'm going to clean up this section. These are coats and they need to go in the guest bedroom. And these need to go in storage. These two sweaters because it's like really warm. Um, I think I'm going to put this suit also over there. It comes with the skirt. This is the stuff, the piles that are created basically. So this stuff I'm keeping in this pile here. Excuse the mess. I am cleaning my closet. So, and y'all know my child has been in here pulling stuff out um and this is a pile of stuff i'm getting rid of now let me know in the comments below if you would be interested like part of me is just like part of me is like i just don't even want to feel like dealing with selling on poshmark and i just want to like put the clothes in a um recycle bin and call it a day um but that seems so irresponsible so what I'm thinking of doing I'm thinking of doing like a bundle so like a bundle of jeans in a size 12 a bundle of jeans in a size 14 but I also feel like that's kind of like redundant because you could be a 12 in one pair and you could be a 14 in another pair but I don't want to list every single jean individually so I think I'm going to do like here's a pack of jeans for this price here's a pack of this for this price like like a grab bag almost that's what I'm thinking so I might do like a bundle of all the same size and it's like oh I'm gonna order a size 12 bundle and it's gonna be a bunch of size 12 stuff in there I'm gonna order I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a size 14 bundle and it's gonna be a bunch of random stuff in there Everything's clean. Most of the stuff has tags on it and I've never used. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do size 12, 14. There's some 16 in there that I'm just not gonna wear. And extra large, large type of situation. I have some mediums too. So if you are size 12 or 14 or you know someone who is, send them my Poshmark. Um, and I'm probably just gonna list the stuff for like a week or two. And if it's not sold in a week or two, she's gone I'm gonna send her to thread up and get me a credit so I can buy something <laughs> um yeah so look out for the Poshmark if you don't see the Poshmark below I decided that I couldn't deal with I just found another pair of jeans <gasps> I love these jeans oh I used to love these jeans I don't think I could fit them anymore though they used to be so good this was like when the baggy jeans first like started getting um popular oh I was a size 12 and these just fit so good they were like super loose super baggy I felt like knee along in them all right well y'all I'm gonna get ready to go to Target while I still have time something just bit me Oh heck no, I'm getting out of here. Something just bit me. That's a wrap, so um, look out for the Poshmark. I will see you guys in part two when I organize and make this look pretty. So I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Wednesday, pretty early. Today's today. My kitchen is clean. Hallelujah. I am
this one already packed with my winter stuff. I'm going to take this stuff out and put it in one of these, vacuum seal it up. And then I'm going to pull out my summer clothes and go through them. But I want to get this done today. So today's the day. Today is the last final day of this mess. But these are so fun and cool. I used that little pump there. I was trying to, excuse the mess. No. It's all his fault. But I was trying to use the vacuum and that didn't work out. But that thing, surprisingly, did this. This was huge. Y'all saw? Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to be able to fit a bit more in my bins. So hopefully they fit. <laughs> <laughs> that's half the box and then the other half is in here how much room I saved I'm gonna try to get three in here I wish I could get it flatter but whatevs shopping now I am a shopaholic I'm happy to admit it I like things I like to buy things and I love clothes I'm just gonna admit it but this is an item never opened never hung up from sleeper And you know what's funny? Because when I was unloading my dresses, I was like, 
I know I bought two sleeper dresses. I had to have bought two sleeper dresses. I have the one white one here. And I was like, I know I bought two. I bought two. Let's see what this is. Because I honestly don't even remember. Prayers and Sorrows. Made with our seamstress with pride. I honestly, that's, we devote 8 to 12 hours to make each garment. I really do enjoy the sleeper brand. If you guys have not bought anything, everything is handmade. Handmade, especially for you. Did I buy the navy sleeper? No, I didn't. Okay, so I bought a short set. Now, I, I don't even think I could fit this anymore. This is cute. Yeah, I can't fit this anymore. But I do remember wanting this. So we're going to keep her. I feel like sleeper stretches really well because of this um, ruching. But this is so cute. The sleeves are so cute. The shorts are super cute. We're going to get in this. This is a size extra large. So we'll be in this by the end of summer. Deal? Deal. Because we just found this. And baby. flats and all of that here I'm trying to like co-coordinate and have it looking very aesthetic I've got all my dresses here um, I'm probably gonna fix the way this arranged but for now this is what we're working with um, and yeah I got all my like tops blazers um, I like to keep my blazers out because I do work in corporate America, so I probably will um, use them for interviews or meetings. Um, I did not fix my jeans yet, so that's next. There's still some stuff on the floor, just disregard. <laughs> um, and I got my purses here i'm probably gonna rearrange all of this i'm just showing you guys what i'm trying to do i want to do like color coordinating and then neutrals and then like i really want to pull out things and have things out that i really want to wear since like going through my stuff there's things in here that i haven't worn in so long and i'm just like i like these are brand new and I've never worn them. So I have these out. I took them out the box. And I'm like, I'm going to wear these. I kept the box just in case. But I said, I'm going to wear these on the next date night with that purse back there. And then I have these I bought recently and still haven't worn. And I kind of just have like some stuff tucked back there. So that you can't really see from the other side. But yeah, so I was trying. I still have my winter boots. My, um my like tall boots I need to organize and then that purse on the floor so there's still stuff I need to do I'm just done for now but what you did see is you saw me putting like some of my boots in these sorry excuse me in these containers up here so that's what I do every year and oh gotta figure out these hats so yeah there's still more work to be done but um i have to go and do some other stuff right now so i will come back up here later tonight and give another hour i've just been doing power hours y'all know i love power hour and just been going through and getting things done look at my hair child yeah so we will come back to this later I'm thinking I need like a stepping stool to step on so I can get to like the top of stuff because I have oh god I have those shoes up there that I didn't even open yet okay so yeah there's still some work that needs to be done but we're making 
major 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 headway and I'm really excited about it because it's starting to look really nice I'm starting to get excited about getting dressed so all of this is important and all of this is working out really well so um I will check back in later to complete part two because I want to be done with this video <laughs> now besides vacuuming I think we're still it's still a work in progress I just wanted to show you guys like what I was able to finish we still need to clear up these hats I was able to put all of my like winter boots up here I like to put them in um, these bins just in case I want to access a pair of boots to wear with like a mini skirt so everything's still like there for me if I wanted to wear like a pair of boots if I wanted to right um, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do these hats all my dresses are good I got them kind of grouped and lined the best way I thought and then I tried to do a little bit of like I still don't know what to do with these shoes yet <laughs> but I tried to do a little bit of things that I grab for very often daily are flats so I have all of like my flats my browns I got some reds here I tried to do like a tonal type of thing uh, this is my perfume it needs to be cleaned and yeah dusted but you see it um, I'm planning on moving all my jeans to look like this I just haven't got to it yet um I got all of my like clothes here tonal wise and then um <laughs> I tried to kind of like pull Easton all right I tried to kind of put together something here but it's really just overfill overflow of things um so yeah that's the best I could really do <laughs> Um, I'm still it's still a work in progress. I'll probably play with this quite a bit more um, These some of these boots I got to put away. I just went swimming. So I was in a rush Those are where I keep my bathing suits. I just got finished swimming um, earlier, so I'm about to kind of clean up a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you guys that and Kind of just end and close this out this declutter. It feels so much better now that I can pick out clothes um i can grab things i can see what i have i'm going to use a lot of pieces in this section i know of um but it's just nice to be like okay i want to wear a white shirt or i want to wear a white skirt and i have it all right here um i have all my jeans here that do fit um kind of like in this section right uh and then i have like colors and things like that so i'll probably redo this section honestly um, I'll probably do another go through here and then like I said I just kept my blazers and stuff out um, because you know sometimes I have corporate meetings and I put like my sparkly nighttimey type of shoes over here and just things that I grab for quite often I have in like my reach I know there's a black purse back there I know I know but we're, we're figuring it out. I'm probably going to change this around. I may even move shelving around, which I, that's what I do love about this set. Like I can move the shelves how I want and make it a little different. The only thing I wish is that maybe I had a shelf like shelves, like right here in the center. Um, so I could like have some type of thing going on. I do want to use this section, which I still have coats here that I need to move, but I do want to use this section as like what I plan on wearing this week or like just like keeping this pretty blank. I have this white shirt here because I want to iron it because it's a good white button up and it just got, um, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was motivation for you to switch out your closet. You've probably already done it because we're like deep into June and it's hot. So I just wanted to come by and show you guys my closet. It's my favorite thing. It is my little hideaway. I do want to um, do a little bit more in here. Hopefully one day it will just be all mine and probably not because my husband loves to share a space with me 
and be in the way getting dressed but anyway i hope this was helpful i hope you consider subscribing if you're not subscribed um i appreciate you being here i'm so happy we are finally at 500 i did want to mention that i do plan on giving doing a giveaway that we met that marker i do plan on giving doing a giveaway for the 500 subscribers milestone so i will be chatting about that on my instagram so make sure you are follow me on instagram i'm probably gonna have a set of rules or things like that so you do want to make sure you subscribe um i'll probably talk about it in my next video so definitely want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that i will do the entries in my next video and i will talk about the rules in my next video but anyway, I appreciate all 500 of you. It's actually 553 now, which is insane. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you being patient with me as I'm mothering, as I'm trying to be cute and fly and elevate my mom uniform and all the things. So anyway, I appreciate you being here. And until next time, 